Everybody, Noah Karspecken with Iowa Fire Control again, and today I want to talk to you about an exciting new product development uh, that came about and that Iowa Fire Control became the first distributors in the state of Iowa here in the last few months. What we want to talk to you about is grease lock. What I have up here is a drawing of a typical kitchen exhaust system, and the problem with typical kitchen exhaust systems is the grease laden vapor comes up and it goes up into the, the wall mounted canopy hood. When it hits that hood, what happens is it hits those UL 1046 style metal baffle filters. So lots of those baffle filters are taken out either on a nightly basis or weekly basis or at least on a monthly basis. And those of you who take those out know that those are a real pain in the butt to actually get out and to clean and have to run through your dishwasher or to take down to the local uh, car wash and get them clean. So the whole problem with the typical kitchen exhaust system is all the grease is caught up here. And we sell products that catch grease up by the fan. So that grease comes up through here at about 25%. Regular baffle filters catch about 25% of the, of the grease that moves through the system. So the problem is, why not catch 100%? And this is what I want to introduce you to. This right here is the GLS, the Grease Lock System Filter. What it is, this is a 16 by 20 inch wool fabric filter, a mesh filter that is allowed within the parameters of NFPA, the IMC, and the IFC. So pertaining to code, this product is good to go. And what it does is in conjunction with the baffle filter catches 98 to 99% of the grease that moves through the system. This is very important to note because what that means is above, above the filters where there's access panels, there's hinge kits that are needed, there's drip boxes or sand boxes on the roof that are needed. Uh, many times we have to clean the HVAC coils that are on the roof because there's grease that's being created by the hood cleaners. All that stuff goes away. Because what happens is when 98 to 99% of that grease gets caught in those wool filters, 1% of grease moves through your system. That's 1%. As per NFPA code, until that grease is 0.078 inches thick, your system does not have to be clean. And this is what I'm here to tell you about. Folks, this is an amazing new product, and what we want you to know is that the product works, that we're installing it in the state of Iowa and in the state of Nebraska and Missouri, and, and we're launching this product as hard as we can. So if you want to figure out how to have less hood cleanings and to have less wear and tear in your system, the grease lock system is where it's at. What we do is we install a channel right below your baffle filters and then right above your baffle filters. And this picture isn't going to do it justice. I certainly would come out and talk to you once you decided that you wanted to look at the GLS system. But what we do is we put that channel below and that channel above, and what happens is that wool mesh filter goes on the outside. Those filters need to be changed periodically due to the grease that ends up accumulating on them. They get changed on a basis as per the volume that's being cooked at the store and per the appliance that is underneath the actual filter. Lots of these filters underneath fryers, underneath flat tops, underneath any other type of appliance, you're talking about 30 to 60 days on the change. When you're talking about char broilers and some of these other types of appliances, then you're looking at, you know, uh, if it's a high volume, you know, 60,000 plus a week uh, restaurant, then you're looking at maybe getting those changed once every three to seven days. So in some particular systems, this product won't necessarily be the best for. It will still work in that system, but it may not be the best for concerning amounts of hood cleaning. What we're seeing is that typical exhaust systems that were being cleaned four times a year are now being cleaned once a year. And that's basically under promising. What we're finding is that most typical exhaust systems, if they're getting cleaned four times a year, only need to be cleaned once every 18 months or more. 
So what this means is that if you're paying $250 per hood cleaning per quarter, which if you are, you have a very small hood, but if you're paying $250 per quarter and you would have paid $500, $750 in 12 months to, to 16 months, you're now going to pay that $250 in that 12 to 16 month period or longer. So the savings on the hood cleaning alone is amazing. This is an environmentally clean product and it's a compostable and biodegradable product. So this filter right here, once it's grease laden, we just go ahead and, and toss that out with the trash. Just so long as you don't stack 40 or 50 of them together and put them out in the hot sun out on your sidewalk, you should be good to go. So the GLS filter is an amazing thing. None of these, none of these problems with the access panels and the grease on the roof will be there anymore at all. Your system will need to be inspected on a regular basis. NFPA code says that if inspected and it's not found to be .078 inches, of grease, you do not have to be cleaned. And this means that it could be, could be years before you're cleaned again. Think about the savings. Think about the hassle that you have to go through to set up hood cleanings, to take new bids, to get other bids, to, to clean up your system. Think about all that hassle going away. And plus, if you're taking those filters out, those metal style UL1046 baffle filters on a regular basis, nightly, weekly, whatever it might be, you're no longer going to have to do that. What you're going to have to do now is clean them once a month. And if, you're, if you have a low volume cooking, you might have to clean them once every two months. So this product, as far as we're concerned, is the future of hood cleaning. It is the absolute future of hood cleaning. If you want any more information on the Grease Lock system, please go to www.iowafirecontrol.com.